To celebrate our next bit of footage, I have made a song. I invite you to sing along. Here are its lyrics. Goose alert. What's that? Goose alert. Oh snap. Goose alert. What's that? Goose alert. Heels tap. And, scene. Did you sing along? Type I did in fact sing along in the comments below. That a baby. <laughs> Are you up for a quick edit? Fantastic. Here's the, Greg, Sego. Take it away, sweetie. I want to direct your eyes up here. Eyes up here, folks. Always eyes up here. You can see that we are almost clipping in the whites. The shadow clipping is apparent. So there's a little bit of work to do. So I'd like to start with lens correction. Make sure we have properly enabled profile corrections that your camera, model, profile all set up perfectly. Lightroom is very smart. It will most likely read these things from your memory card. If not, you can always change it. Let's say we're not shooting a Sony, but instead of Tokina, we can mess around. Easy fix. I like to click remove chromatic aberration, and I like to move down to transform. Sometimes auto may help out, but since there aren't upright corrections found, nothing has happened here. So what I like to do, whether upright corrections are found or not, move to the crop and strengthen where the fun begins for me, especially. I like to figure out the composition before moving on with any basic edits, color edits, detail, the works. And I spend maybe way too much time in here, but you know what? This is where the photo is made, the composition. This is where you decide, you sign off on what you will show, what you will om omit. Frankly, I think this is the most important part of the post-processing process. And from what I'm gathering here, you know, we could do, let's go to as shot. We can do a few interesting things. Perhaps make it a little cinematic as 
this wider crop allows. But then, you know, we have a lot of dead space here in the greenery. Unfortunately, I didn't do my due diligence in getting the entire bird in the shot. And frankly, I think the most important and interesting aspects of this image are these beautiful feathers and the beak. So what if we were to crop in? Remember, we are shooting, if you look up here, at a massive dimension. So cropping we can do. So let's go with the one by one, the old Instagram friendly aspect and perhaps crop it here. I'm liking it, it's intimate. Maybe move it over just a touch. Eye center, middle, vertical that is. A lot of words there, Greg. Okay, and you know, this is something to work with. I like this. And as I say that, I wanna nudge it a little more. There you go. Imagine me ordering dinner at a restaurant takes a while. Anyway, moving on to basic. You know what I like to do? I check the autos first. I like to see how Lightroom interprets the image. To me, the white balance here is a little too aggressive in the magenta category. So perhaps by holding shift and pressing arrow down, we can bring this down by 20, uh, by 10 intervals. We're down to plus 20 right now. Maybe push it to plus 10. Or, you know, let's split the difference. I don't want it a little too green. That's quite nice. And you know something, as I'm looking at this, do we flirt with the black and white? I think we may for this image, you know? So what we're gonna do now as we click auto, we'll see what this does. It kind of adds a, just a little touch of contrast. It makes this beautiful hill here in the histogram. Uh, this is fine for now. I'd like to go down to black and white, click auto here as well. This adds a little more separation uh, from the background, but this is the master major important strength that Lightroom is offering these days in the masking. We can click on this here or press, press chef, chef, shift W. Watch me pressing the wrong buttons. There we go. It's been a long day. It's been a long week. It's been a long month but here we are. Let's click select subject and see what this amazing technology does. And it's, even Lightroom's having difficulty finding the subject. So what we can do is click on the mask subject and add where we can click on brush or perhaps to make things a little more quicker and easier, radial gradient. Let's put this on the majority of our feathered friend here. And all that is red will be affected. So why don't we ever so slightly brighten up our image? My, did you hear my voice there? It got very high. Kind of remind me of John Travolta when he was introducing uh, Adele Dazim. Wickedly talented. The wickedly talented. Anyway, moving on. You're saying, Greg, my goodness, the duck stands out, but the background stands out too. So what do we do here? Right click, duplicate and invert mask. And now everything but the duck is gonna be affected. What we wanna do here make a little corrections and we're going to take out the duck. We just want the background. So all of this going to do our best. You know, it's okay if you mess up a little, just don't tell anybody. I won't tell anybody either. And you know, you take your time, you do this. Maybe you got the radio on. You got a radio today. Radios, you know, they still work. It's a lot of good programs on them. Radios. Let me tell you. Anyway, moving on, that's pretty good. What we're gonna do now is lower the exposure to the background. And look at this separation up here. It's quite dramatic, it's quite nice. 
and it allows you to again go back and forth making sure you're happy with the proceedings and I'm really digging this especially you know we could even add a little further texture to the duck we can untexturize the background and look at the separation now it's such a world of difference in just a few clicks it's that simple folks it's beautiful so beautiful it makes you want to cry happy tears that is so let's see the before and the after before after god bless you for making it this far and i'll see you on the next one on behalf of the greg sego thanks for watching and be sure to catch greg most every night on twitch where he practices photography in the photorealistic worlds of modern video games as well as hosting the occasional photo editing tutorial or two and while you're at it Hop into his Discord, aka, the creative, content, community. A group of artists and enthusiasts who welcome one and all, and are always eager to see your work. Until next time. Kisses.